So the next part of the discussion here is that is pH scale. Actually, if you go for pH scale, this pH scale is a numerical value. Numerical value, which gives the nature of solution. Whether the solution is acidic, whether the solution is acidic or whether the solution is basic in nature. So this pH, this pH scale, it starts with this pH scale for different solutions, acidic, basic, sometimes even neutral also, you can take neutral solution also. This pH scale is a numerical value, the pH scale as a numerical value predicts the nature of solution, the solution can be acidic, solution can be basic and solution can be neutral. So however, whatever may be the nature of the solution, here this pH scale in the form of pH value has certain limits that limits are actually from 0 to from 0 to 3.5 it is strongly acidic strongly acidic 3.5 to 6.9 3 3.5 to 6.9 weakly acidic 7 is neutral the solution is neutral solution 8 to 10.5 8 to 10.5 weekly basic and 10.5 to 14 strongly basic strongly basic actually here it means that from this discussion it means that if you carefully observe from this table you can see the bottom row the first row the pH value of the pH scale is given starting from 0 to 14 the bottom row the second row of the above table we can find that the H plus ion concentration of the acidic basic and neutral solution the H plus ion concentration is expressed in moles per liter and it, if they are expressed in moles per liter you can find that the concentration gradually it is decreasing as the pH value is increasing the concentration of the H plus ion of acidic solution, uh, I mean acidic solution and the basic solution and neutral solution, the H plus ion concentration is decreasing. So whatever may be the case here, if you take the application of pH scale as you can just carefully analyze, as you can carefully analyze the pH scale in the general discussion, if you carefully observe the application of pH scale, the pH scale as a matter of fact, it is starting from 0 to and it is ending till 14. If you start with the if you are starting with the pH 0, generally all acids, all acids if they, if they want to perform the, I mean uh, the consumption, the consumption of a battery depends upon the amount of acid present in it. The battery's working quality of the battery always depends on the amount of acid which is present in it. The more the amount of acid is there, the more concentrated acid is there in the battery, the more life is there for the battery. That's why the pH of the because lesser is the pH value, more is the H plus ion concentration. So the pH of the battery acid is 0 to 1. And the gastric juice which is produced in our stomach, whatever the food we eat during our metabolic and catabolic activities, whatever the food we consume, uh, because of the consumption of food, the food converts all the complex substances into complex carbohydrates into the simplest substances in the form of proteins and amino acids. Along with the proteins and amino acids, you can find some fluid is produced, that fluid contains certain amount of acid. You know very well that our stomach also generates certain amount of hydrochloric acid. That hydrochloric acid in the form of gastric fluid, okay, its pH value is 1, which is very, very low. Similarly, the soft drink which you take from the citrus fruit, that is lemon juice, is a juice which is obtained from the citrus fruit, that is lemon. So, its pH is, uh, that is 2. This also means that the lemon is, it contains the acid called citric acid. Lemon contains an acid called citric acid. If it is an acid, then the pH should be definitely within 0, that is within 7, less than 7. That's why you can see that the pH of the lemon is 2. Then similarly, vinegar, the weak organic acid vinegar, vinegar is also called an acetic acid. It is used for various spicy foods, storage of meat, sometimes even uh, 
it will act as a anti rancidant in preventing the spoiling foods so vinegar uh, if you see it, you can see that its ph value is 3 next you can go for the beverages the cool cool beverages whatever we try to consume in the form of beer and uh, okay particularly beer if you take it's an alcoholic drink where it is 4 to 5 the consumption of beer is very uh, dangerous to health because whatever the amount of the alcohol in the form of beer which you try to consume it's uh, it is highly acidic because you can see the ph value there also it is 4 to 5 which is not that easy for the i mean digestion so <clears throat> whatever the amount of beer which you try to i mean consume that has to be immediately burnt by the physical exercise otherwise the person in particular may become fatigue and you may develop unnecessary um, obesity go for the egg yolk it's a protein uh, protein consumption okay the egg yolk contains uh, the ph between 5 and 6 and rain water which is free from any impurities the purest form of water is rain water it is uh, slightly alkaline we say rain water which is very close to 7 ph value 7 so 6 to 7 is the ph range of rain water coffee which is a hot drink is ph value 6 to 7 rain water also it is 6 to 7 only if you take blood blood is slightly alkaline so you can it is between 7 to 8 blood the human blood which we have sea water which is consumption the consumption of water the sea water if it is converted to drinking water the reverse osmosis with the help of reverse osmosis technology we are able to convert the sea water in the drinking purpose for the drinking purpose so its ph value is 8 so it is weekly basic and sodium bicarbonate it is a salt of strong base and weak acid ammonia ammonical solution if you take whose ph value is 11 because ammonia when dissolved in water it gives ammonium hydroxide which is a weak base that's why the ph value is 11 and uh, the bleach of chlorine that is chlorine water the bleach of chlorine that is sodium hypochlorite its ph value is 13 and it is the nascent toxin which is produced from the sodium hypochlorite is used for the bleaching action of colored substances to colorless substances and finally the sodium hydroxide is a strong base if it is a strong base that's why the ph value is 14 so from this discussion it is evident it is quite clear that the ph limit once again in a nutshell ph if it is the ph for any solution if it is between 0 to 3.5 it is a weekly 0 to 3.5 it is strongly acidic not weakly sorry it is strongly acidic 0 to 3.5 is strongly acidic and uh, if the pH is between 3.5 to 6.9 weakly acidic and if the pH is if the pH 7 the solution is neutral solution is neutral and if the pH is between 7.1 to 10.5 it is weakly basic and if the pH is between 10.5 to 14.0 then it is strongly basic